Coach, talk a little bit about you guys stay with him right in the first half, down by seven. What changed in the second half? Uh, I think Indiana changed. Uh, you know, that's the one thing about Coach Miller's teams. They, they're they going to make adjustments. I think our guys struggled a little bit with the, the physicality down low and, um, you know, just unfortunately shots weren't going down and kind of got away a little bit about what we wanted to do from a defensive standpoint. Um, so all the credit goes to, to Coach and, and his team. What about your play in the first half? What were you especially doing? You were hitting from outside. Yeah, well, you know, my thing is if you look at, if you look at our – our, our, the dynamic of our team, uh, it's a team that really does a great job of sharing the basketball, moving the ball, and then guys that can, you know, just know, know their roles, right? Uh, I thought our guys did a really good job on the offensive end. I think what we struggled with a little bit was you know, defending without fouling. Okay, when you when you send a team to the line 45 times, yeah, it's hard to win that game. So, um, you know, our, our thing is we got we got to get better on the defensive end. You mentioned fouling. Trey Jackson Davis got to the free throw line 15 times. I and mean, what stood out about his play in the paint? Uh, well, I think they were physical. You know, like I said, I thought it was a physical game uh, on both ends. So, um, you know, my, my thing is we probably fouled, fouled more than they did. But it, yeah. It's just physical. And really, it um, seemed like the foul trouble kind of sapped your guys' energy in the second half. Um, well, I, I think a lot of things sapped my guys in the second half. And, and, again, a lot of it has to do with, with Coach Miller's team. Uh, you know, as far as the fouls are concerned, you know, you need to go ask, uh, what is it, Bill, Donnie, and Rob. You need to ask them what their evaluations. You know, I don't know who evaluates them, so you got to ask them what, what they saw. Uh, what I was referring to was on, oh. at, on the start of the second half, you had three players with um, three fouls, so it's tough to keep your depth in that kind of situation. No doubt, no doubt. Like I said, you got to ask those three guys. Those are the guys that are, that are their job is to call the game. So. Sure. Uh, whoever evaluates them, let them figure it out. What can your kids um, learn from this um, night? I think it's. I, I think what you're learning is you're playing against a team that uh, is three and zero right now in the country. Three and zero in their in their in their late in their in their year. A team that obviously is very well coached. Uh, a very deep team. Obviously, mm -hmm. coming waves uh, and their size and physicality. And uh, it was it was good for our guys to. I'm, I'm walking away. Uh, Looking, looking at our guys and, and saying if we if we would just again stick together and not not fracture a little bit when our offense isn't going the way it's supposed to and defend and rebound, you know I, I'll tell you I was really happy with the way our guys blocked out and rebound the basketball sure. tonight. I thought that was going to be an area of, of, of uh, that I thought we were going to struggle in. Mm -hmm. So for for there to be a plus one in in the rebounding category to me that's that's something now I can pull from. And show my guys moving forward that it's a plus. Now we got to keep doing that. Yeah, and really seemed like there were a lot of a lot of moments that your kids could build off from um, to take them um, into um, conference play when no, you guys get there later. No this question, year. And, and that's why that's this is going to be a staple of our, of our program is to play games like this mm -hmm. because I think these are the games that prepare you for like you're saying once we go into a some play. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now when we play the physical teams like. The the the, 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 the liberties, liberties, the liberties the world, and the Lipscombs and the, Lipscombs and, the, and, the and you know the Florida Gulf Coast. Sure. You know our guys, our guys have seen it already. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Year two for us. So for us, it's about just continuing to build the program. Yeah, and a lot of young young players learning a lot of lessons tonight from this situation. One senior on this team. Mm -hmm. Majority of the team is juniors and sophomores. Yeah, absolutely. So really excited about them. Jamari and CJ, you know, kind of lit it up from the outside in that first half. I mean, what what stands out about the confidence they have in their game? Uh, to, to me, Jamari is just a confident kid all the way around. If you look at the last game that he played in, people were worried about him. He was two for twelve from the field in the first two games, but Jamari had nine assists. Like Jamari figures out a way to affect winning. That's him. So if he sees that his shot's not where it needs to be that night, he's going to figure out another way. He's either going to gain you extra possessions. He's going to defend. He'll rebound. He'll he'll share the basketball instead of taking a shot, which will be good for him. He gives it to a teammate that has a better shot. So that, that's just Jamari for him.